Back at you with another online shopping tutorial. This time we're focusing on G Market. G Market is uh, one of the top three online shopping services in Korea. You got G Market, Coupang, and uh, 11th Street. Those for me are the, the, the biggest online shopping services. I've covered coupon. You can find the video here or here where I went through step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up an account there. Today, we're focusing on G Market. And if your Korean is not that good, then you are in luck because G Market is in English, um, I think in Korean and Chinese as well. So a couple of benefits there for you. That being said, I'm gonna be honest with you. I do use coupon personally. I just prefer it a lot more. It's a more convenient uh, experience for me, but I understand that a lot of people, their Korean is not as good or they just don't understand uh, the language or you can read Hangul or whatever like that. So G Market definitely does have a couple of benefits uh, if your Korean is not that good. On this channel, we cover everything in Korea. Tips and tricks, tutorials, prep interviews, what to do and what not to do when looking for a job here in Korea. So if you're interested in this type of content, consider subscribing and hitting the like button so we can help as many people as possible. Without any further ado, let's jump into what you need to set up an account. All right, so what you'll need to set up an account is number one, a phone number, a working phone number. Number two is your address, preferably in digital form so you can copy and paste. Otherwise, you can check on your ARC card, you can flip it over and your address will be on there, but it will be in Korean. So maybe have someone that can speak or read the language to help you out. I think it might actually be possible that you can type uh, it in English, but I'm not 100% sure. So just to be on the safe side, have it in Korean or Hangul. Number three is a working bank card and a bank number so that you can buy the product. Number four, what you'll need is a working device, a phone, tablet, or PC or laptop. From my experience, it's a lot easier to use uh, an app so a phone or a tablet might be a little bit easier. So we're covering two parts uh, in this tutorial. Number one is the website and number two is on the app. So um, just follow along. We're gonna dive into the website first. So yeah, have your laptop ready or your phone ready. Just a quick disclaimer, I do not work for G Market nor am I affiliated or sponsored by them. This is just a quick tutorial that I just set up which has worked for me in the past and I hope it works for you too. Whatever you do on this site is wholly up to your responsibility so use the site with caution. If you do not understand Korean at all, always best to have a friend or a colleague or worker that can help you that understands the language entirely. First, what you want to do is just type into Google G Market. Just click on the first option. You'll be greeted with this pop-up box over here where you can choose your preferences like the language, um, the currency that you want to use and also the country that you are currently residing in. As you can see, Korean is not in there or the Korean one is not an option. That's because it's standard, so you don't have to worry about that. I usually just choose dollar because they will show the Korean prices as well. All right, so let's first register an account. So you wanna navigate to the top of the screen where it says register. First, you wanna type in your ID. I'm just typing in Survive Korea, Survive Core. Type in your email address that you're going to be using to verify your account. And then type in your password. You have to go back and check the availability of each. So just click on check availability of your ID, your email address, and you should be fine. You'll be then greeted with this page. This is just um, showing you that you've been temporarily registered, but you still have to verify your account. So obviously just navigate to your email address or your, your email and uh, verify that you are who you say you are. We are going to input your address and confirm your address. So what you wanna do is navigate to the top of the screen where it says My G Market. So over here, you wanna to navigate to the last box, click on personal information. You wanna edit your information, so type in your password. Then navigate to address book. Here we are going to insert your Korean address. So click on zip code and make sure that um, this is set on Korea domestic delivery. 
Here, we're gonna choose your, your zip code by inputting your address. We've got a couple of options over here. I'm just gonna pause it here. We've got Busan, Daegu, Daejeon, Gangwon-do, Gwangju, Gyeong, Gyeonggi-do, Gyeongsangbuk-do, Gyeongsangnam-do. So these are the provinces uh, or metropolitan areas. If you are unsure of your address, ask your co-teacher or employer or maybe a co-worker. If you don't have any of those things or you really don't know, check on the back of your uh, ARC card, but the address will be in Korean. Next, we're gonna select the city. So if you live in Changwon, you check, uh, click Changwon or Daegu or Busan or Mapugu. Next is the Dong. Dong is like the neighborhood that you're in. This is the more detailed information or details. Here, you would also just double check on your ARC card or the address that was provided to you. Normally, uh, I would have a number accompanied with this. It shows you in specifically which block you live in. Finally, you're going to input the remaining parts of your address, like the apartment or building name, room, and stuff like that in which you live in. So if you live in, let's say, I Park in Seoul, you type in I Park, you type in your, your apartment name, the complex name, and also the room in which you are staying. I'm just using a public address, so I'm just typing in blah, blah, but yeah, you get the idea. So your address book will then look like this. Type your name over here and type your name again over here. Finally, we've got your contact number, so you would input your cell phone number here. And finally, we're going to input our payment settings. You'll be greeted with a list of um, banks or bank names. Um, be sure to create your cyber account uh, that corresponds with your bank account. So if you're with Cookman Bank, you'll uh, click on the first option. If you're with IBK, NH, Busan Bank, Shinhan, etc., you would just click on those options. Also, just a pro tip over here, Busan Bank is also uh, called BNK. So just be aware of that. If you can't find BNK, Busan Bank is also called BNK. So let's see how the site works. You're gonna navigate to the landing page or the home page and just type in whatever you wanna search for. You can also search in English, which is great. Um, for the sake of convenience, I'm just gonna look for water. So it provides you the um, currency that you chose previously and also by default, it will always include the Korean price. So it's four point, it's four dollars, about four dollars, four and a half dollars, and in brackets on the right it shows it's about five thousand one, four thousand eight hundred to be precise. So also just check, it only ships uh, domestically in Korea as it's stated below, and it will always show you the shipping fee as well. And finally at the bottom um, it will show you the estimated arrival time or the estimated shipping time. Just below the date of shipment, you have um, an options drop-down box here. You can select the various options that the manufacturer provides. And below that, you have the quantity. Now, you can either buy, buy the item di right now or directly, or you can add it to cart if you're also searching for other stuff. I'm just gonna add it to the cart so that I can show you this process as well. Then you can just go to shopping, and over here, this is the item that we selected. Um, make sure always that you have the quantity that you desire. Um, I have done this on occasion uh, where I just wanted one and then um, I clicked on the item twice and I didn't know and I actually ordered two. So just be mindful of that. For now, I just wanna go through the shopping cart section. You can also apply coupons. I'll get to that a little bit later. And on the right hand side, it shows you the breakdown of the costs and also uh, the shipping fee, your total savings, subtotals and the quantity. Then you'll just click on the blue box and proceed to checkout. So the payment page over here will have the breakdown of your personal information, your name, your address, etc. So obviously just make sure that um, all of these things are also correct, especially if you have two addresses listed. You wanna scroll down. And now we have different options. I'm gonna pause it over here quickly. So the first option is PayPal. Obviously, if you have a PayPal set up, you can pay through this method. We have Alipay. I don't know Alipay at all, so I can't really talk about that. Your credit or debit card, Visa, MasterCard, UnionPay, etc. And then you have credit or debit card issued 
in Korea and your wire transfer or the Gmarket private payment method. So the credit debit card is just international cards and a credit debit card that's issued in Korea is obviously your domestic card. So if you do live in Korea, if you are a teacher, you will be provided or you will be helped assisted in setting up your Korean bank account. This option is a lot better, it's a lot cheaper in my opinion and in my experience. But here is an interesting way of how to pay for uh, products on Gmarket that I think is I think unique to Gmarket. I, I, I haven't seen this on Coupon or um, 11th Street, so correct me if I'm wrong. But the final uh, payment method is called the wire transfer. So wire transfer is where you don't save your credit card or use your credit or debit card on the site. What happens is you confirm your products that you want to buy. They will send you their account number and you can send money. You can basically EFT the money from your uh, app on your phone or you can go to the bank directly and just send the money through the ATM. This is very helpful if you do not have a Korean uh, credit or debit card set up yet or if your credit or debit card, your international one isn't doesn't work or for whichever reason it is quite convenient so I will give that to Gmarket and I have used this method as well works perfectly what happens is they stall or they pause the shipment of your booking and will resume it uh, once the payment has been reflected in their account so yeah I think you have up to 30 days uh, to complete the wire transfer obviously if you want the product to be shipped immediately you can just click on wire transfer you get the account number and pay it like within that minute or within that day. Then after selecting uh, your payment uh, method, click on submit my order. And that's that. You are done. It is very, very simple. All right, let's jump into the app quickly. So first of all, what you want to do is go onto your app store and download the Gmarket app. Just click on allow so you can receive notifications and click on the green box. That's just to confirm. So let's break down and translate the Korean over here. First of all, this is the login page. At the top left, the tab that we are currently on, this just means um, that you are a member. And uh, the tab on the right means that it's like non-member uh, product inquiry. So yeah, let's forget about that. First block over here is um, your ID. Second block is obviously your password. The two check marks at the bottom first one is automatic login and the second one is to receive notifications. The big um, blue box at the bottom is log in. The first link is if you've forgotten your ID, you can try and find your ID here. Second one is you if you've forgotten your password. And the third one is to register an account. So if you've watched the first section, uh, we create an ID. Mine was survive core. So you just type in the ID that you created here and your password below. If you're just following along now and, and skip the website portion, uh, be sure to click on register an account. Right now you are logged in. Now what you want to do is click on the person icon I guess at the bottom right on your phone then you'll be greeted with this menu section over here you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and click on this section over here this is Beizong Juzoro Guanli so this is basically the management of your address book or uh, address management click on that and you'll be greeted with this section over here. Uh, so we already set up our account on uh, the website. So our information is already stored here, but I will show you how to do this on the app as well. We've got four options over here indicated with the icons. The first icon is Pezongji, uh, that just means shipping address. Second one is Chip, that's your house or your home. Third one is Hakyo, that's your school. And fourth one is uh, your workplace. We're just gonna click on shipping address and at the bottom item is your name so you type in your name over there type in mike tyson just want to also disclaimer i'm not mike tyson just yeah, putting that out there and then uh your number over there click on the magnifying glass now we are going to find your address by typing in your zip code before this part you should know your zip code and your full address preferably in english and in korean um, the most preferable would be to have someone that speaks korean or understands korean entirely so for this section you want to type in your zip code i'm just using a public building or place so don't type the zip code in because this is not going to correspond with your address click on done and then click on the magnifying glass and then make sure that your address corresponds with the map this is also a tricky part if you don't know 
Korean maps or geography that well. If you do understand and you're happy with the address and if it corresponds with your address on the map, then click on the blue box at the bottom. Next is a little bit more detailed information here. You would type in the apartment name and apartment number. Next, we have the delivery requests. Let's go through them quickly um, and I'll translate them for you. So obviously the first line is, it says delivery requests or delivery options. So the first request is um, basically that I will receive it directly. Second one is to please contact you before shipping. Third one is if you are absent, please leave it at the security office. You can check out my coupon video. I explain in detail what that process looks like. Every apartment uh, complex has like a security building or office where the kind of groundskeeper or manager days and more often than not delivery workers will drop off your packages there if not at your door and then obviously below that uh, if you are absent please uh, leave the package at your door next one is um, if you are absent to please leave it in the delivery box if you have one set up already and the last one is just direct input not 100 sure what that means the most popular options are just to leave it with the security guy so that you know the package won't go missing and it's quite safe with him or for convenience sake have it delivered to your door and it'll just be outside um, your apartment i choose this option most of the time because it's so safe in korea and it's a little bit more convenient so yeah uh, so i usually tend to click on this option but if you are a little bit wary which is completely natural just click on the deliver to security guard and that is it to buy the product it is identical to how you would buy it on the website if you do struggle with korean then i would recommend just doing it on a computer or tablet as the app is completely in korean and i couldn't find an english version of the app or just something to bear in mind and that is it it is that simple very easy and also a lot of it is in english so i hope this video helped you if there are any other questions that you want to ask me just drop a comment in the comment section below and i will help you out there as well until next time peace